Hey, this is Kim from PerryandKim.com. I have a tip for you that I just realized a lot of people don't know, and I still have to look it up myself every time I get a new computer. So maybe teaching you how to do it here will help um, solidify it in my mind so that I can do it more easily next time I upgrade, which, you know, maybe that'll be soon because my laptop's kind of old and lame. So if you use a lot of spreadsheets, and as an Amazon seller, I use a lot of spreadsheets. I love digging into data and reports. A lot of those come in a TXT file or a CSV file. When you get those files, do you have to copy and paste it into a spreadsheet, into Excel, so that you can actually use it, manipulate it, do what you want to do? And then maybe you have to remember to save it again as a TXT or CSV when you're done because Excel will automatically save it as an XLS. You don't need to do that. Your TXT files and your CSV files can open directly in Excel just by clicking on them. You can tell Excel to treat those like XLS files. It'll open them as native TXT files or CSV files. It'll save them in the same format without you having to do anything. This is going to simplify your life if you've been um, jogging back and forth between those file formats. So what you need to do is click on your um, Windows Start button, which you can't see because I have my window in the wrong place. Let's bring it down here so you can have a better look at it. Okay. You are going to click on your Windows Start button and go to Settings. Now I need to bring the Settings window down for you, right? In Settings, go to Apps. When you're in Apps, you want to go to Default Apps because you're going to teach Windows what to do by default, right? And the easiest way to do this is choose Default Apps by File Type. This is going to be a really long list of file types, and you can see it takes a few minutes to come up here because it's pulling up a really long list. We can come over here to the side and hover for just a minute, and that will turn into a scroll bar because TXT files, since this is sorted alphabetically, TXT is going to be way down here at the bottom, very, very low down. Keep going, keep going, we're almost there. Okay, TXT. Right now I have mine set by default to open in Excel. That means when I click on a TXT file, Excel just pops open for me. It's awesome. If yours doesn't do that, you might see something lame like Notepad. Who wants that, right? So come down here to TXT and choose Excel and your life will get so much easier, right? If, if um, you haven't done this before, if your computer doesn't know what you're talking about, there's a chance that Excel is not going to just pop up in that easy list of options. If that's the case, Google is your friend. Um, you might have to show the computer where to find the Excel program. And it's just going to give you a file path to click through. You're going to have to click on My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, X86, or something like that. You can find it in Google. Look it up. It's worth taking a minute to learn and it might only take you this much time right here. It might be this easy. Do this, it's gonna save you so much time. It makes it so much easier to download files, make a quick change, save it, upload it in the same format without all the copy paste or right click and open file and in this program. Just open it, close it. Your life just got easier, you're welcome.